hi everyone hope you are doing good uh, welcome to the next video on my youtube channel my name is Saurabh Bharti Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional this is the next video in the series of inventory evaluation which we are discussing uh, in the last two videos what we discussed so this is the part three and till now in the pre in the previous videos what we have discussed it we have set up the background that what are the critical uh, product attributes which are required for a uh, inventory evaluation to work then we in the next part and the part two i have spoken about that how exactly the weighted average works and uh, the different calculations and the recalculation what's the requirement of the recalculation the exact formula for the weighted average so that's what we have uh, spoken about now in this video i'm going to pick up the next to valuation method which is FIFO first in first out and the LIFO last in first out. I'm going to put the link of the part one and the part two in the description box. So if you have not watched it already, you can just go and watch it. Okay. So now let's start with this FIFO. So FIFO is like first in first out uh, inventory valuation method where the inventory when we are issuing the inventory so the inventory which has entered in the system first right should be taken out first okay and then uh, I'll, i'm going to talk about the lifo as well so in the fifo case let's take an example if i have a purchase order on the first of october with the 10 quantity with the 10 each each value it is 100 and then i have a second purchase order on the second with the 20 quantities with the 20 each as a value which is the 400 so if on 3rd of October, if I create a sales order and if I issue my inventory uh, of 25 quantities, then what is going to be my inventory valuation, right? So if I pick up the FIFO, so first in, first out. So what is the first in? So first in was these 10 quantities on 1st of October. So it will go at 100. Then uh, I need uh, the next 15 quantities from this lot. So it will be picking this and this is 20 E, so it is 300, right? So my as per my fee for my value, which is system should pick it up, it's uh, 400, right? But in D65, when I will post the sales order invoice, it is not going to pick up the 400 as an inventory value. Uh, rather, it is going to calculate the value based on the weighted average. So if I take out the weighted average uh, for this particular scenario, it is going to be 500 divided by 30 quantities because there are total 30 quantities with the 500 value I have picked up right so it is going to post 416.67 so now the question comes then how does this FIFO or the LIFO works it is wrong so what system does that at the time of transaction it is going to pick up the weighted average but then we need to run the additional process which is called as inventory recalculation which we touched upon in the last video as well so when I will run the inventory inventory recalculation process, system is going to post the adjustment to make this transaction as per the FIFO method. So it what to make it FIFO, what it should do to bring it the value to the 400, it should post the adjustment of 16.67 in the system. So that is the expectation for us. Okay. Now similarly, if I pick up the example of the LIFO with the same thing. And if I issue 20 quantities, so last in, first out, okay? Which means the inventory which has entered in the system lastly, right? That should go, that should get issued first, that should get consumed first, okay? So in this case, the last inventory is the 20 quantities. So it is going to take this and 400 value and five quantities will be picked up from this particular lot, which is will be 50. So my expected value as per the LIFO is 450, okay? Now, if it is 450 and if uh, and as I told at the, uh, at the time of transaction, the D65 is going to calculate based on the weighted average. OK, so if I take the weighted average, it is going to post 416. But then we need to run a process which is called an inventory recalculation. And once I post the re inventory recalculation system should post the adjustment of 33.33 to make this 416 to 450 right that is the expectation in the system when we go so what i have done is that i have created two different product fifo and the lifo and i have posted so uh, these transactions the purchase order one and two i've created a sales order for the both the scenarios and we are going to see that how it is going to work in the system is it going to post 
what we are thinking or is it going to behave in a different way so let's move to the system and let's see like how it works okay so what i have done is that i have created two products uh, with the name of fifo and the lifo itself and uh, i have posted two purchase orders for both of the products with the same example having 10 quantities as 100 dollar uh, 20 quantities at 400 and for the same for the leaf uh, another product which is leafo and i have created a one sales order which is for the 25 quantities and i have not posted the sales invoice so we are going to see that what is the cost amount this 25 quantity is going to pick up based on both fifo and the leafo method so i have given the name as the fifo and leafo itself for the product I've used the personalization option just to group these transaction by the product number so that we can clearly see each of the product behavior. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I already have a sales order where I have added these two products and I have these quantities. I'm going to invoice this particular sales order and see that what is the cost amount this particular sales order for 25 quantities based on FIFO and based on LIFO it is going to pick up. So that is what we are going to see now. So I am going to post both the invoice, both the lines for this sales order and let's see how it is going to reflect. So my invoice has been posted. Now if I go to inventory transactions, I'm going to refresh. And if you see, irrespective of what is the valuation method selected on these two products it has taken the same cost like it has taken 467 which we expected why it has taken 416.67 because it is going to calculate the weighted average at the time of transactions so if i just switch to my excel spreadsheet that what we were expecting so we can just validate so if you see on my screen uh, this is what we expected that system is going to pick up the weighted average not the fifo or the lifo right so system has done as expected now since we have selected fifo and the lifo as a valuation method what we are going to do is that now we are going to run the inventory recalculation for both of these products and let's see if system is going to post the adjustment as we have expected in this particular example so to run my inventory recalculation i'm going to navigate to inventory management and here i have periodic closing and adjustments and i'm going to do the recalculation here and i'm going to select the date let's say i'm going to do in the month end uh, and i'm going to do the item number specific and I will just do for these two products because I don't want to do for everything in the system. So I have these two products. So I have filtered these two. Click OK. If I want, I can run this process in the batch process and then I just put it. OK, so system is going to run this in the batch and I can see that it is recalculating here. I can see the status of the batch job or the process once it will be completed then it is going to tell me the status whether it has run successfully or it has failed so we are going to wait for i think it shouldn't take much time because there are only five six small set of transaction is there so it should finish it quickly yeah so it has finished it now if i go to my inventory transactions and if i just refresh this now if you see it has changed the cost amount so it has added 400 it has made 400 for uh, uh for the first as per fifo and 415 as per the lifo but how do i check my adjustment amount so what i can do is I can insert a column and let's see like if we have the adjustment column. So if I do the adjustment column addition here and if I scroll to the right, so I can see that 
for making this FIFO, right, it has posted a 16.67 adjustment to make it 400 because it was 416.67 and to make it LIFO, it has posted 33.33. Okay, now how do I check all these adjustments based on my inventory recalculation which I have run? So I can always select this recalculation and I can click on the details and I can click on these settlements and it can give me that what adjustment it has made. So it has made the adjustment against these sales, two sales orders. Why it has made based on the principle, uh, which is like to achieve this uh, inventory valuation principle, which is the FIFO or the LIFO. And this is the adjustment it has made. Even I can see that what is the voucher transaction it is going, uh, it, it has posted. So all the financial impacts, so it has posted my, in first case, it has reduced my cost of goods sold right because it has posted more for cost of goods of 416.67 so it has reduced that right so it has reduced the cost of goods sold by crediting and debited my inventory so inventory has been debited that has been added back and in case of the lifo i think uh, it has reduced uh, it, it has increased the cost of goods sold because it has posted the less cost of goods sold and it has reduced the inventory value so this is the financial voucher it has posted so all the information, if I want to see here from the inventory recall, which I have run, I can quickly check it and I can go back to my inventory transactions and see all these things. I can also run my inventory value report uh, to look at these transactions, which I'm going to do in the last. Uh, but let's go back to our Excel spreadsheet and see that is it uh, what we were expecting. So if I move to my Excel spreadsheet, Right. So for the FIFO, I was expecting 16.67 as a adjustment, which system did. And for the LIFO, I was expecting 33.33 as an adjustment, which system did. So the conclusion here is that for FIFO and the LIFO to work, we need to run the inventory recalculation mandatorily. Okay. Without that, we are not going to achieve the actual FIFO or the LIFO. Now you might have a question that how frequently we should do this. In my opinion, at least in the month end, you should run the inventory recalculation for FIFO and LIFO both, right? And it is not like only for FIFO or LIFO, if, even if you are using weighted average, you should run the inventory recalculation once in a month, definitely to get your actual financials. Because it is not only about the value which you have in the inventory, it is also about your financial impact in the trial balance your right cost of goods sold in the P&L will be posted once you run the inventory recalculation. Now let's see like how we can see this inventory value report. That's a very important report. So what you can do is you can go to cost management under inquiries report. You have this inventory value report storage. Let's run it for these two products. So let's say I will say FIFO LIFO, right? The ID which we are going to select here is for the transaction. So maybe I can quickly create a one new one here. Okay, so let's say this is the ID. Let's say I create 60 transactions related. Okay, I'm gonna save this. We can talk about this specifically in one or another video, but yeah, I'm going to generate this inventory value report based on posting date and the financial dimension set is the main account. I want to see only the inventory and I want to see, let's say, site and I don't want to uh, see the totals, but I just want to see the column. I don't want to see if I want to see the group, I can enable this, but I just want to see the product. So I will enable this and I will scroll it down. I don't want like not posted transactions. I don't want to summarize. I want to see the weighted average so I can do this. This is about rows. What I want, I can also have total quantity and values. And I want this report to be the transaction report. And it is giving me the warning that there can be a huge volume. So make sure like you are not running for a longer period. I don't want to include the beginning balance. I just want to uh, take for a specific period. So this is done and let's go back. I will select my 
this i will select my first october to the 31st and in the request to include i'm going to select the product and the products are called as resource here so i'm going to put fifo comma lifo which is my product names and then i'm going to run this report it is going to run in the background and let's wait to it's to finish it off so report has been i'm really sorry i am sharing a different screen let me share the right one okay so uh i was sharing a wrong screen so if i just uh what i've done is that i had created one uh i created this uh new id for the inventory value report so if i just go and quickly walk you through that what i have created right so i created this one for the transaction so i have selected posting date main account set inventory i want to see i want to see the site i want to see the product and i have selected the transactions here so this is what i have created as an id and then i have create i i have run this report for this from end to date okay now if this has been uh, completed and then uh, we can go to the view details here and in the view details let's say if i want to see this by this product so i can see that this is my inventory value report and it is showing me the complete timeline of this particular product so if you see the first the product was the product receipt was done the physical cost and quantity and then the financial similarly for the next po and then for the sales order when i did this this was a cost it has uh, picked up and then when i did the recalculation it has done the adjustment against the same sales order so it gives me the reference and it gives me that what amount it has posted right so similarly it has given for the lifo also so it has uh, posted this cost and this has posted this particular amount as an adjustment so my inventory re inventory value report is really helpful in understanding the financial and the inventory quantity impact both and it also it is the key report when it comes to reconciling with your trial balance in the in in general ledger right so yeah that's it for this video i uh, hope uh, you have uh, got the fair idea about the fifo and lifo the key takeaway for these two valuation method is that we need to run the inventory recalculation process at least once in a month okay so that we can have a uh, impact in our general ledger uh, pnl the right cost of goods sold will be posted okay so that's it for this video uh, I hope to see you in this next one and hope you like this uh, if you did and uh, like share and subscribe and talk to you in the next one thank you take care